And on Spotlight today is runway model, beauty queen, and spoken word poet, Tarere Abaigbo, who has just won another crown. Spoken words poet and runway model Tare Rio Baigbo picked up another pageant crown recently, though she is now a married woman. Also known as Oreme, the Edo State Representative at the Mrs. Nigeria Beauty Contest picked up the glittering crown over dozens of other women. While the pageant is specially tailored for married women with delicate attention to cultural and religious bias, Many still tell a bit skeptical about the thought of a married woman participating in a pageant, including some of her own close friends and family members. So my husband is an Anambra man. <laughs> so <laughs> His initial reaction, he actually thought I was joking when I, when I told him I was going for the pageant. Because before he met me, he knew I have always loved pageantries. I've done so many pageants. And um, I've explained to him that for me, pageants is um, a self-discovery therapy sort of thing. So when I told him that I was going to be participating in Mrs. Nigeria pageant, he was just like, Okay, and he didn't really think about it, but then he saw me filling the form. So in the form, you have to put in spouse's um, approval, and I'm like, oh, you have to sign here. It's like, sign, sign for what? <laughs> I'm like, remember the pageant I told you about last two weeks? He's like, yes. Like, yeah, this, this is where he's like, oh wait, we are serious about this. <laughs> and you know, but he's he's a supportive man. He's my rock. My dad did ask, like, why are you still participating? And then um, I had. I'm a friend that was like, aren't you too old for that? <laughs> and um, I'm very active on social media. So I had mentioned during, as with every pageant, there's always the voting um, phase. And so I had campaigned and someone DM'd me that, aren't you too fat for this? <laughs> and I'm like, wow, okay, thanks for the support. Like, I'm just saying, you know, that you, aren't you somebody's wife? And uh, the, the feedback just varies. There were some people that just DM me and like, wow, I can't do this. I didn't know this existed. I want to participate. How can I participate? I have experienced um, so many levels of cyberbullying. Um, but I am the type of person who will respond. <laughs> and I always... And, I like to think of myself as being very positive. So I always try to be positive, no matter what somebody says. When somebody's like, oh, you're too ugly to have one in pageant. I'm like, thank you. Next year, I hope you run. I will support you. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, everybody's always like, you know, they always have a comment like, oh, so they have something for old women. I'm like, yes, when you get to this age, hopefully you can participate. So, but I do have the time sometimes. It's you know what I do when I'm bored. I just go through and find comments. But yeah, there's always one or two um, negative comments that um, hold on to your insecurities. And you're like, how do you supposed to see this thing? <laughs> but you know, it's about being sure who you are. Besides her love for the runway and poetry, Obaibo, who is well known for her boisterous and infectious, always happy demeanor, is also passionate about keeping the environment clean and this is now a project she hopes to pursue at this time. Before now, I had, I had or I have already been doing um, several um, volunteer activities. Um, I, was, I am part of Echo Pro Life, whereby a group of us come together. We take baskets and um, face masks and we go out into um, the water bodies across Lagos State, different areas, and we clean it. So we've been doing this since 2018 or 2017. I think it was the end of 2017. And it's always been very um, fulfilling. And for me, I am a strong believer in not littering. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if I'm going somewhere, I, eat, I, I nibble a lot. So you might come into my car and see like a corner with like trash. Once I get home, I put it in the bin because I believe 
because everybody's like, oh, everywhere is dirty, throw it out. But the truth is, if every single one of us threw that out, and you have a pile, and I have a pile, that means we're all responsible for the lots of piles that we see. So I try to think that I don't want to own a pile of dirt in Lagos State. <laughs> if any, I want to help reduce. With the Mrs. Nigeria crown already in her kitty, joining some of her other trophies from the modeling and pageantry world, she is now ready to take on the next big challenge as she represents Nigeria at the Mrs. World pageant next year.